Gotta say that I never saw this coming. Never would I ever imagine they would nerf for put in a limit on the amount of Kuva and Relic packs we can buy a week. 25. Why? Literally, why? 25. We're talking over 300 and something steel essence. The people that would already reach this cap or would go even above this cap buying this stuff are people who put in the work or are people like who put in the work every week or are people that would save steel essence for great amounts of time so why why the hell would they even do this like oh some players were getting too much relic packs and getting ahead when a uh, Primes released. It is true that some people were making great amounts of plat, but they were putting the work. Why would you do this? Are you trying to like make casuals feel less bad for not grinding as much? Are you? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what kind of pain are you trying to relieve with this? What the f? It, it makes no sense to me. I mean, for the Kuva, this could mean uh, they were they could be trying to make you get your Kuva from other sources to try to incentive you to play other content in the game. Because, you know, you can buy a weekly from Yonta. You can buy... I think it's a weekly from Yonta. Yeah, probably. Or is it a weekly, daily? I don't even know, you know. <laughs> No, I think there's a weekly from Yonta, there's a weekly from Paladino, you know. Uh, they could be trying to make you to get into other sources of Kuva. Or they could have made this so they are finally gonna make a Steel Path version of the Kuva Siphons and actually make them worth the farm, which is super questionable. And I think it's not gonna be a thing. Other farms of Kuva. Arbitration. I am not a big fan of arbitration. In theory, using resource drop chance booster, using resource booster, you could, in theory, farm a lot more Kuva in arbitrations than steel on the steel path. But the truth is, steel path is much more reliable than arbitration. Not even to mention that Probably the most optimized or the best farm in the game for Steel Essence is on Steel Path Fishers after round 19, where you get the double double buff for resources, and then instead of getting the four uh, with a already with a resource booster, instead of getting four, you would get your eight Steel Essence per acolyte. With a cat buff, that becomes 16, which means if you get a cat buff. You could potentially get uh, one pack of Kuva or one uh, Relic pack per Acolyte, which is amazing. But it is uh, a lot of RNG when we include the Smitic of that. So that is, you know, that is... Ah, it's, it's nothing guaranteed. It's too much RNG. It's a really great amount of effort you have to put in. If you're doing a disruption, that's going to be at least or close to two hours just to get to round 19. You know, it, it's not fast. The people who farm would farm these weekly, these people would would be putting in the effort. They would be putting in the work. So I don't really think that's fair. I think that is a terrible, terrible change. I, I really, as I said in the beginning, I never saw this coming. Like if they wanted to make us get a, our resources, our relic packs, our Kuva, from other sources, okay, but they, they're they not adding those. They're not making it easier to get these from other sources. So why would they F up the best source? You know, the best, uh, the most accessible, the most, especially one of the best ways we have to make our uh, great use of our frames and use a variety of builds because depending on the mission or the fissure that you're going in, you're gonna take different frames. So you're able to you know, 
take stuff that you want, depending on the mission type, of course. There's always going to be a meta, but, you know, uh, restricting the the missions to get these, is, uh, you know, if they ever do. Like Now you're limited to this, but it's not everyone that's going to be affected if you don't go never went above the cap on a weekly basis is probably not going to affect you but if you have been saving this for a for a while then uh, this is going to be a problem i still don't, don't think they should have done this i don't think that was a good move unless they add uh, they make other sources uh, as viable as the steel essence farm to get resources like this again i think the kuva I think they're gonna do some changes to Kuva. I don't know. I, I just feel it. I feel like they're they're gonna touch Kuva at some point in the future. Because, of course, uh, you know. We've been asking for changes on Kuva for the longest time, like to roll ribbons. But anything they would do pretty much could... Any drastic change would disrupt the market you could crash the market either you would make ribbons extremely expensive more than they already are or you would make ribbons so cheap uh it wouldn't be even a viable something viable to sell maybe i don't know to put in the effort and stuff you know yeah so i think they're gonna add some other sources of kuva relic packs that is a that that is a big l big big L you're now gonna be restricted when a prime new prime launches to 25 here and then from your syndicates I think yeah I'm gonna have to, to do some more research to see where else can you get relic packs from that uh maybe from a open world syndicates or a faction i'll have to take a look on that but yeah i'm not not happy with these changes uh, let me know what you guys think about these leave it in the comments below leave it a like and consider subscribing